And the words that, that sing out to me here are cheap, eye-catching and ultimately vacuous, which is probably a very good description of my entire career. If anyone who reads or sees this is hoping for a new Radiohead happy pop tune, leave it, man. Just stay at home. It's not worth it. You know, if it's, it's more like a kind of hoarder or a, some sort of... I'm like some sort of gerbil keeping nuts. But so I don't, know, I don't know which nuts I have, but I know I've got quite a lot of nuts. I've just kind of just thrown everything I've ever done uh, into one cavernous warehouse built a panic office in the middle of it and, and this is it. You can send in pictures of your unwise Radiohead themed tattoos which we will affix to a large obelisk in the middle. Apparently my dick was really tiny and I was rubbish with women. So um, they sent me all these emails um, about Viagra and, and stuff like that. I don't get them anymore and now they're mostly about kind of offers for supermarkets which is really boring so I'm really glad that I, I, sh I shaved all the words from these emails off. As you can see, they're, they're, they're quite good. They haven't got their champagne yet, which I'm a bit annoyed about, because I want to help them with their champagne. Not too keen on the cigars, but it's for art, so it's got to be done. And the money. It's all going to be on the table in there. So if you have a look through there, there's a lot of goats. And uh, I've, got, I've got a real goat as well. It, is a metaphor for something that has recently happened to most countries in the world, caused by feckless, work-shy benefit scroungers, of course. Personally speaking, I think lying in bed until midday is more fun. Mm, we've, um, we're going to have a big fire and burn it all.